Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Better Than Starting Manned. We are here on the moon waiting for our ride which I have quickly time accelerated off camera. The quick save is still way back so if something goes horribly horribly wrong I'll be okay. And we are going to attempt to launch to rendezvous. And we need to wait until the thing is probably actually visible wherever it might be on our uh, little monitor thing. Come on, be my target. Okay, we just need to wait so we can see it. There it is, whoa! Here we go! Okay, launching to rendezvous. Let's rock and roll. Gear is up. That ladder, that ladder, get back in there. Get, 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 get. There we are. All right, there goes our target. We are, we missed big time, I think. But we might still be able to catch up as long as we don't go too high and just focus on getting ourselves into orbit here. There we are. Okay, stop rising. Because we want to be going faster than it because we need to catch up to it. So we need to get our orbit made. Okay, let's just see our orbit mark. Come on. Okay, slow down. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. We need to catch up to our target, not fall behind our target. Whoop. And that's not going to help. I may have to redo this. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Shoot. Talk about an overshot. Okay. All right. Back to square one. That was a total botch of my launch. Better than any launch I've ever done before. I just overshot because of the damned... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 now. Wait. They were on the bloody ship. They were on the bloody ship. No, 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 no. No, 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 you're not going to do this to me. You stupid game. You guys were on the ship, and it has lots and lots of Goram. Oh, am I going to have to do the landing again? It's going to glitch, isn't it? Saved game on the moon is going to glitch. Okay, come on. All right, let's go to orbit and hope that that doesn't kill them. Hey, why are you not loading my Moonshot 1 orbit? Hello? All right, what the heck is going on here? Okay, holding down F9. Come on. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, problem solved. Um, so make a note. One, don't do a quick save with your Kerbal outside of a spaceship. Apparently, if you load it, it can sometimes forget to load his spacesuit before it loads the rest of the game. Um, second thing, if that happens, you can actually rename, directly replace your current persistent.sfs with the quick save sfs. Basically, just rename persistent to a backup, and then rename your quick save file to be the persistent, and it loads just fine. Go figure. Okay. So now that that little heart attack moment is over, we're back at the point where we're waiting for this to come around the planet. I have made my adjustments to the quick save. I'm going to actually grab a normal quick save as well, just to save me some trouble and some time. And then we are going to go... Hey, target, hurry up and get your butt around the planet so we can launch. 
and pray to the gods of Kerbal Kind that we saved enough fuel in there to get us home. Because I ain't sure if I did or not. Okay, here it comes. You are my target. Yep. Not long now. Should be coming into view in just a second, and that's when we're going to launch. We want to be at, with it, but not too far. We don't want to wind up ahead of it. Here it comes. Target is now within range. Why is target not showing on my nav ball? I don't know. There it is. Another couple seconds, and we're going to give up. I don't know why target is not available, but it's pretty close to being overhead, so we're going to go... There it is, okay. All right, hold our steady. We're mostly going upwards right now. To get our apoaps. I may have actually departed too early this time. Such a funny game. Okay. So it's orbiting at a height of... What was that height? Can't even remember what it's at. Perhaps 15 slash 12. Actually might have been okay with the last one, huh? Okay. Okay, so we're right in between it and the... Uh... All right, so first priority, get into orbit. Where is it? First things first, we need to get up higher. Okay, we might actually be okay. Because we're actually not that far from being right beside our target. So our relative speeds are dropping quite nicely. Burn towards the horizon. Oh, bloody, it did miss it. But not by much. Come on, don't... Don't raise our Apple apps anymore. Dang it. Okay, apparently I didn't... I should have just gone with my instincts here. Okay, stop raising my per uh, my Apple apps. I just need to raise my Perry apps now. Just be, be, be kind. All right, so how much time do I have? I still have more than 50% of my life support, which is good news. Battery power, lots left. Okay, there comes our orbit. Okay. Now then, how long is it gonna take us to actually match? We're gonna be closest. We don't have the time to mess around with that. So let's just do a standard quick save. We have a normal, we have another quick save. And we need to burn. Um, honestly, we need to move burn towards the target some more, don't we? Nope, that's not, that's not right. Retro to tar, what the heck? Another, okay, well, so much the better. Let's see what we can do. We are trying to make that number drop to a nice reasonable number. It's gonna be another half orbit before we actually pull off this close approach here. Stop right there, okay. We've got quick saves, so if this goes horribly, horribly wrong, and our Kerbals die because we took too long to get to where we're to actually encounter each other. Well, please check the number and try your call again. But this may be a little longer than is appropriate for this particular... Man, what? Oh man, we are gonna go... Um dangerously low. 
crashingly low, possibly. Yeah, we botched quite badly that uh, orbit, orbit matching there, didn't we? On the bright side, we're going to get closer a lot faster, but it's going to take us a bloody long time to get past this point here. Ah, no, we're going to try again. Alt F9. This happened last time, too, on the moon properly, this time without the exploding Kerbal problem. Because the spaceship I had targeted was... Okay. Our target. One last try. This time without the oops and without the uncertainty about when I should bloody leave. When it is coming around about here. We're just gonna... We know now what we need to do. Okay, here we go. Okay, and we're going to burn it up to about a 10 ish kilometer apoapse, and then we'll do our orbital burn. Actually, we could almost do it at 75 degrees. see. I think we're actually doing okay this time. I need to go up a little faster. Up a little more. Okay. I'm on. Okay. Kill it. And at T minus we need to do our orbital related burn. Still going to be 11 kilometers away, but that's okay. That's okay. Bring that up to 30 seconds, right about here. Because that makes our encounter range pretty good. We are slowing down to relative to our target and getting into orbit at the same time. Pray that we have enough fuel and maneuvering ability left to pull this off. We're trying to put our prograde um, closer to our target. Okay, we just need to make this in orbit first and foremost. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Apparently we've got a few reports still to get. Let's see how close our encounter is bad. Oh my god, we have screwed this up a little. That's okay. Actually, we might be all right. Target. It's getting further away. We need to get ourselves into orbit first and foremost. All right. Now we need to slow down relative to our target. Bring it around. Okay. 11.3 is pretty good. All right. Now, next move will be burning towards the target again with an 11.3 kilometer separation, we should be able to get ourselves pretty close to the right position. Okay. 
Okay. What the hell have I done? I have screwed up something terrible, something awful, something horrible. Nope, I botched this. I botched it big time. <sighs> okay, we need to slow down big time relative to the target. Let's just try and get this right. I probably just needed to slow down again, didn't I? Yep. I just needed to slow down more because the orbit is too big right now is the problem. Okay, five, four. All right, well, hopefully we'll get down to the point where we'll be able to use um, RCS to finish the job. Okay, we're getting good now. There we are, 300 meter separation in, in about in a few minutes. Normal quick save. I think I might have gotten away with it in spite of my almost disastrous uh, burn there. Okay, here we come. Okay, now this is the critical part right here. What do we do to continue to match our orbit? We slow down probably slow down relative to our target again in a few moments so that our relative speed is zeroing out as close to zero as possible because that will make our orbits match even better I have lots of RCS left Oop, that was almost a problem 5.5 .5 meters per second relative speed. Okay. One last little... Okay. This is the part where we actually need to find the prograde to target part and start actually burning towards the target. This should be in... Okay, let's see. Okay, let's change our view to chase cam. Oops, not towards the target. Okay, we go right here and we go slow down relative to the target. All right. Now then, let's. Okay, I think we're in the right orientation. Yeah. We're in the right place now. We are now in the part where we need to make sure we don't come in too fast. And we need to make sure we get to the part where this is targeting that as well. And we rotate this one. Okay, where is its target? Oh crap. Okay. Okay, hold on. Come on, where's our target marker? Where are any of our markers, honestly? Ah, there it is. Beautiful. And that should be the only work this thing will ever have to do. Just 
point it more or less at the target, which is now getting rather close. Okay, back to here. Okay. We're not quite close enough to target a specific part of our target, but we're getting there. Oh, maybe we are. Okay. 0.5 meters per second. Good. 100 meters to go. Emergency quick save set, I think. I hope. Oh boy. That is joggling around a whole bloody bunch right now. All right, well, we've got some life support left, not a huge amount, but some. Should be enough to full finish this job, even if I have a bit of trouble with it. And I do have a mission specific, um, let's just get this out of my way. I don't want that where I'm gonna be distracted by it. Okay, just a little more rotation on this one. Got to keep it pointing in the right direction. Don't want things to go completely sideways here. Okay, keep it steady. Put it right back where it's supposed to be. Okay, back here. We are so close to being on target, it's not even funny. <sighs> Coming in at half a meter per second. That should be plenty fast enough at this stage. Got lots of time, lots of time. No, no need to panic. Another quick save. God, I wish that text would be just a little off of where I'm looking because it's actually right in the middle of where I need to sort of look right now to see if I'm actually on track to hit this thing. Okay, 50 meters to go. Still on target. I'm pretty sure I'm still targeting this. Yep, docking port. I never did put up my landing gear, did I? That's kind of funny. I don't think that makes a huge difference outside of the atmosphere, but... Okay, 30 meters to go, half a meter per second speed. Very close to the appropriate on-target position. I know it's slow, guys, but um, considering the difficulties I've had with docking in my past, I feel quite comfortable with waiting till the absolute last second to put the ladder away before something terrible happens with it. Okay, that's still on target. Oop. Another crew report. Another crew report. A whole bunch of craters I missed, apparently, on the first pass around the moon. I seem to vaguely recall that being a, a thing. Okay. 12 meters to go. 3 meters, 0.3 meters per second. 0.2. Almost not sure if it's going to... Pretty much just fly by wire at this point. Come on guys, don't don't fail me now. Okay, 
Okay, come on, hold it steady, hold it steady. We are so close. Tell me we're on target, we're on target, we're on target. Um, SAS off. Ha! Nice! Okay. Okay, transfer, Kerbal, Kerbal, stored data. All right, um, bloody hell, that went, went amazing. Now, the only problem I see is that this thing does not have any control on it, so as soon as I decouple it, it is a dead ship. So we'll just turn it off, and this is going to be the ship we're going to fly. All right, quick save time. Guys, that could not have gone better. Well, I suppose it could have, but... Okay, let's just transfer everything of value out of this thing into here. Because there's no sense in leaving anything of value behind. Whoop, did I miss another crew report? I did, didn't I? I think I did. Just very briefly there, there was a new crew report that I hadn't gotten yet. Okay, a bit more battery power. Uh, an almost meaningless quantity of RCS, but... Every little bit can help. The only thing I can't transfer is the actual engine fuel. Okay. Okay, guys, in the next episode, we will go home. Wish me luck. See you next time.